So Valve has just released a brand new update to Counter-Strike. Inside, they added the trophies from Copenhagen from a few months ago. And you notice here on the champion one, it actually goes ahead and lists the players. When you look at a different trophy like the finalist, it instead only has a few of the teams. Something else that was also included in this update is that Valve added new servers for England. But for the biggest change in this new update, it's actually over on Dust 2, where you'll no longer need somebody to boost you onto short going over to Cat. This is without a doubt a huge change overall. You notice now there's sort of a different placement in the boxes where you just have to jump up and well now you are on to short to Cat and you no longer have to run all the way around or have a player boost you up. Dust 2 is without a doubt one of the most iconic maps for Counter-Strike and now they have completely changed up how it will be played. As well, one of the most talked about things in terms of Counter-Strike for around the past week was this Loving Eyes Hollow sticker and well when we check it out in game, it is still here, nothing has happened to it. Valve may still just be reviewing the situation, going over the sticker, checking if it is actually stolen or not. Either way, this update didn't come with that big of a list of changes. For example, it didn't even come with a blog post. The last one was Open Season, which was just them going over some details for the esports scene. We can hope for more, but when Valve drops an update, it's not very often that they give us a video with it as well. The only thing is that players waited weeks for the next update, and it seems like this is all that was included. There was no performance fixes, there doesn't seem to be any new updates for the cheating situation either, but overall I would say what is included is pretty nice. A few months ago we saw big changes to Inferno, we also saw big changes over to Vertigo, and now we're seeing these new changes over to Dust 2. So within the next few months, will another map get heavily changed, maybe like Mirage? As well, a pro player Magno has recently shared a clip of the equipment that pro players are using for an upcoming Sky Esports tournament, where many computers still have Activate Windows, a bunch of random programs like Fall Guys, they were even laughing at the Acros anti-cheat, and overall just the really bad conditions which their room was in. It seemed like the PCs just had random programs installed, as you notice the one had even a Valorant tracker. Overall, the pros were just laughing at the situation, as they're most likely used to things being held differently. Now, as well as this, in the most recent update of Talking Counter-Strike, Sponge J mentioned how he asked Rops what his issues with the games were, and how Rops had an entire list ready to go on his phone. Like I said, he doesn't like the game. Like, you talk to him, and I said to him, I did the lobby, and I, and I asked him, you know, oh, jokingly, I, it wasn't jokingly in the sense that I didn't think he would have a list of things that he's not happy with with CS2, but I said, oh, like, what's your top three? And he literally pulled out his phone and he had a list of things on his phone and it was more than fucking three, I tell you that much. And like, he's not happy with the format, a lot of the little issues with the game overall. With a lot of different issues, but one of those was sub tick. Um, so yeah, he like sub tick was one of the things he mentioned. At the time, it was said that Valve wasn't replying to him about the situation. He's, he's I think, a bit disenchanted. By all of it, and I said, Oh, like he's still talking with Valve, and he said, Oh, yeah, but they don't reply to me anymore. But according to Rops, he did jinx it because the next day he got a reply. Now, although a reply from Valve doesn't exactly mean that every single issue Rops may have pointed out is gonna get changed, but hopefully these larger issues get fixed. We've seen Rops be very vocal about the CS2 movement, and there was really no changes to it within the most recent update but hopefully we start to see it within the next few weeks. Funny how being, being removed from the game, I think is you know, just a punch to the fan base and to the players who played all the movements, modes like KZ, Surf, b -opping. The official games, you can like hit b and make some funky tricks, get like a flashy play or something. So that was always an option, but nowadays you can't. And I mean, it's just, it just sucks. CS2 sucks. So if we have large pros directly bringing up these issues and talking about them to Valve, can we hopefully see it fixed soon? It'll be interesting to see how Dust 2 plays out within the upcoming Shanghai Major, as the RMR qualifiers are now less than one month away. Although we have the Copenhagen Trophy, the Copenhagen stickers are still in the game, so subscribe to stay updated on all things Counter-Strike.